In the Critical Care Mailbag, I sat down with Scott Weingart to talk about status epilepticus. A lot of this segment focused on ketamine, but one of the keys that we both really wanted to stress was aggressive use of medications to break that status as quickly as possible. So we wanna be aggressive with our dosing and escalation, and remembering that intubation in these patients is not a failure. It's okay if you get to that point because you've got to stop that seizure activity as quickly as possible. So the traditional approach here was benzo, benzo, and then propofol and intubation, and there is absolutely nothing wrong with maintaining that standard approach because it means that we escalate quickly, take care of that airway, and break those seizures rapidly. But Scott throws a little wrinkle into it based on some new literature around ketamine, not the most robust, and we'd love to see more data, but Scott's new approach is to start with that first dose of benzo, and then your second dose of medications is actually gonna be benzo combined with ketamine. So benzo, benzo plus ketamine, and if that fails, moving on to propofol and general anesthesia. I throw a little bit of a wrinkle in there. I'm doing benzo, benzo, ketamine, and then propofol and intubation. So just inserting that dose of ketamine before getting to intubation. But again, the key here, based on the literature that we have, the data that we have, is in breaking that status as rapidly as possible. Benzo, benzo, propofol gets you there. But if you are comfortable with ketamine, you could insert that either with your second dose of benzo or after that second dose of benzo before you get to propofol and intubation.